Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to do a special welcome to my new subscribers. I'm glad you are here. And if you're just listening, be sure to subscribe, press the notifications, so you don't miss my videos, and that you be qualified for the prize that will come at the end. Uh, previous videos on this club will be in the playlist. You must be sub to both channels and you must comment on channel videos in order to get a ticket. So if you comment on hers, you get a ticket. Then if you comment on mine, you get another ticket. And at the end, I will, will be doing a number. You decide a number and we'll do the drive. This week's subject is friendship. Okay? There's all kinds of friendship. You know, you got your casual friendships. They're just people may live around you. Uh, hi, bye. You don't really spend time with them. They're just acquaintances. And then you got friendships that you, people you talk to. On occasion, and then you got true friendships. And that is when a person is your friend, you spend time, you do things together, you support each other. And you can always tell a true friend when I mean people will be your friends in the good times and then the bad times they go on the wayside that's to me is not a friend I found out that personally when I became homeless the people I thought were my friend and I wasn't asking them to let me stay there with them or even for money or anything else went on the wayside except for one cookie <coughs> it is important to support friends and I'm not talking financially because I learned a long time ago the best way to keep friends is you do not loan money. I don't borrow money from people. I don't loan money. From people. It, that way everybody stay friends. But, you know, you support emotionally. Okay, where is Katie Boy? There's symbols. There we go. I met, you know, I've had friends come and go. I had, when I was married to my first husband, and his kid's mother from a previous relationship committed suicide. We had didn't know find out about it till a long time ago. That's a whole different story. It is not my place to say, but that 
we just say we had to go to Kansas from Nevada. Now I had horses, dogs, what have you, and uh, a person I thought was a friend volunteered to watch him. Okay. Unknown to me, while I was gone, she rarely went down there to feed him. And when she did, you know, you don't smoke a cigarette, throw it in the manure. Manure will catch fire. Uh, so people had to put it out before it really got out of control. Uh, a friend of mine, when she saw my horses were not being fed, she used her own hay to feed them. I had a game thing connected to my TV. I told her she could play with it in my house. She basically stole it, took it to her house. I immediately got it back. But I ended the friendship. And this was a girl who nobody liked in the town. Gas population, 300 people if you count the dogs or cats. Nobody liked her. And people would say to me, why are you being friends with her? And I told my sister, at the time I said, look, unless she does something to me, I'm not going to stop being friends with her just because of you. Because you guys don't like it. That's your choice. And then you have your true friends. Uh, when I was homeless, there was Cookie, she was blind. People you think, it, well she'd be under, you know, and if it rained, she'd let me stay at her house. I always took her, she was legally blind, so I, I always took her to her doctor appointments. Uh, she liked thrift shops, I take her there. I did all this. But one time, I belonged to a club, I was secretary to Hook Bell Hobbyist of San Diego. And we were going there. She kind of had the gall to ask me to give her gas money. She goes, I know you've helped me a lot, but... And I thought, really? Seriously? How many times have I drove you to the doctors out of my own time? Um, when I had to go to work that night, and I worked not shifted, so taking her to the doctor meant I didn't get no sleep. I think what ended the relationship was um, when her husband got cancer. We were at the VA hospital. He was in there for a doctor's appointment. She had to go to the ladies' room. And then they, in there, she expressed anger that he was getting all this attention and it wasn't on her. And I told her, I says, how can you write about that how can you your husband's got stage four cancer he is fighting for his life but you're gonna be so freaking selfish you know after that I just uh, distanced myself from her I realized she was a very selfish woman she, she only cared about herself very what is that word the first oh i can't remember and how anyways how uh, what now i'm getting frustrated here folks okay 801 801 801 should put these in order
here we go. There was an incident. There was this person basically stopping for years. But I'm not going to get into that, but there was a problem. Yeah. Somehow my name got into it. Um, and alive. And I says, hey, leave my name out of it. I don't have nothing to do with this. Just leave me completely out. Well, I messaged her. And I, because both of them are subs of mine. And I says, look, first of all, I don't want to know what's going on. It doesn't pertain to me. Please leave my name out of it. And I had told them both. I says, I'm not going to choose between the two of you because you're both my subs and I, I'm just not. Uh, both of them understood. She came back to me, asked me if I, because see, you got to understand, Sherry is the one that started Collapse. There was no such thing as Collapse within the community. She's the one that started and she just finished a Collapse. Well, she asked me if I'd be willing to do one with her. Well, I was floored. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I, at the time I only had a hundred subs. Why would she want to do a collab with me? But that's how she is. You know, Sherry... is a kind person. She's sensitive. She wears her feelings on her sleeves type thing. And, uh, and that's, I've seen her help so many creators. Seriously. I've seen her in a live where there was a creator wanting to reach a thousand. And that was the whole live was about. Is trying to get this person subs. Now this person was supposed to be a friend of hers. After all that help, she turned on him. Well at this point I considered Sherry a friend. So I told the other creator that I was unsubbing from her and they did I, I did it very publicly at one of her videos I says I don't like bullies I'm not subbing well she came to me and asked me why and I says I think you know why after Sherry helped you well she wanted to deny that Sherry helped her get over that thousand and I thought really seriously I was in the live I seen her do it I know what happened but that's here and there um, Sherry is not a tattletale I guess she would be the word she, if you tell her something she does not repeat it she keeps it to herself uh, I do the same thing You know, because if someone tells you something, you don't go tell people. Let me make sure you're still recording. Yeah. It she just really, even in her lies. And I didn't see any other creators do this. At some point in life, she would tell people if they had a uh, channel, put their mojos up. 
she never felt threatened by other creators. And she would do that. And not very many creators do that. I don't feel she's judgmental and I, and I like that. Or at least I tried to. When everybody was turning against her, I was supporting her. Um, I did a video because I didn't like the way they were treating her. Now, I had some subs who didn't like the fact that I was defending her. Pretty much said, I can't believe you're defending her. And she left my channel. I did lose subs behind that. I, I, I don't give a shit. You know? I'm not a follower. At all. Even in... I think it was junior high. In our group of friends, two girls got into an argument. Well, you know, that was between them two, but no. They all got to take sides and they were all taking her side and they were bullying her. And I went follow suit. So consequently they got mad at me too. And I didn't care. It, it, and it's just like when I lost some subs over that. I just didn't care. I mean, it's, with that flake. They can't deal with the fact that I'm still sub to somebody and I'm friends with somebody. They're not hurting me by unsubbing. And she was, you know, Sherry was of a different belief system. At least in the beginning than I was or am and the Bible says judge how's that good basically the Bible God says if whoever uh, you judge he's gonna judge you it's not my place I don't have to agree with her belief system as a Christian no it's not happening but that doesn't make her a bad person. That doesn't give me the right to judge her or anybody else because of their belief system. As I said in my last video, my husband, my late husband, was Catholic. When he was dying to give the daughter peace, and even though that was not my religion, I basically had a the last rites by a Catholic priest. No. Because I respect someone's belief system even if it's not my own. Because I don't want to be judged by God how I've judged other people. That's God's business. If somebody's belief system is not as far as being friends with me, is not a deal breaker. I don't judge somebody by their belief system. Oh, people, see this? 
I try to do what other people do, and I went to cut out a slightly there, and I tore this. And I will be doing a video. I just fixed it temporarily. And I will be doing a video on how to fix that. There's probably not too much I would do for Sherry. Uh, Purple Dirt's craft. She... She is a very giving person. And she, she has a tendency to think of other people before herself. And that's great. But you can't sacrifice yourself for uh, your friends. That's a no-no. But she has a tendency to do that. And then with someone like her friend betrayed her that she's known for years, she forgave her, and then she did it again. She was very hurt. And the one thing I noticed in the community, folks, is like most communities, um, crochet uh, influencers, they don't really make friends with each other outside that. But in the community, that has happened. I mean, do you hear of a crochet retreat? <laughs> you know, um, and they form friendship, and I think that is fantastic. Here we go. Sherry doesn't like to disappoint people. I like that about her. But she's got to learn something. She can't do everything. And I value her friendship. I mean, she's very considerate. She's kind. She's helpful. And yeah, she's helped my channel. And I ain't gonna deny it. She doesn't reject people. She doesn't use people. That's why she gets so upset when people have done that to her. And I get it. So anyways, I'm going to let you go. I'm sorry this video came up late. I have been very, very busy. I will have a video by next Thursday. Be sure to comment so you get a ticket. I do love giveaways. I'm forever doing giveaways. It gives me pleasure.
Anyways, happy diamond painting, and I will catch you later.